Hello and welcome all. Today I am going to start a new playlist on Microsoft SQL Server beginners course and um, welcome back after some gap due to my overseas travel and if you like my channel please subscribe to it and put your views and comments and get the entire set of videos with all the playlists to subscribe. So this is the course and the first part there will be several parts so the first part is using SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS to connect to the MS SQL Server or Microsoft SQL Server. So in this tutorial we shall learn what is the SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS in short and how to connect to the SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio and the two type of authentications we will study Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication methods to connect to the SQL Server. So please watch the entire video to understand the nitty gritty of connecting to the SQL Server for those people who are first timers in Microsoft SQL. All right. So let's head back to the Microsoft SQL Server. Now let me connect, let me bring up the SQL Server Management Studio. Now I have already had the SQL Server Management Studio installed and uh, there, if you are new to the installation process there are plenty of literature available on um, Microsoft on Google so you should be able to install it successfully if you are not able to install then please put it in your comments. Right so SQL Server Management Studio this is the SQL Server Management Studio and this is the I have got this version. Uh, let me just cancel it. I will bring back this um, window again. So this is my version is SQL Server Management Studio version 17.1. So if you have got a later version or an earlier version, this tutorial is still valid. Now, so I have already have this SQL Server Management Studio installed. Now, please be aware SQL Server Management Studio there is a proper misconception there is a i mean uh, uh, popular misconception that the sql server management studio is the microsoft sql server which is it is not this is just a client tool to connect to the sql server microsoft sql server now um, the thing is how do we connect to the sql server management studio this client tool so if you click on this connect tab then there are a few options and you go for the database engine options, the other analysis service, integration service, reporting service and Azure storage, they are different packages which we will not be discussing at least for now. So we will connect to the database engine. Now as you get this connect to the server window, you have this server type database engine and server name I have got a pre-configured because I have tested with several server names and all of these are actually the same except probably this one this is actual physical server somewhere else so here i need to tell that you know all of this this uh, this is the ip address in the network jargon it is known as network loopback address which is basically the your local machines ip address so and you can even put local or local host or your desktop name um, so everything anything will be valid and if you click on connect let, let me connect it with my server name as my desktop name now and click on connect and I am able to connect to the um, SQL server desktop with my desktop as my server name now in case if you are asking for explanation how to get to the desktop name then what you should do is just bring on this command prompt and once the command prompt is there let me bring it if you click if you type host name then it will get you the um, name of your pc or your uh, laptop whatever your machine desktop l4l kd6p that is what it is showing okay 
but you could you know this is one instance is connected with this desktop l4 l kd 6p and i can again reconnect this is another instance will be connected now here i could just give one of these things local and i can still click on connect we'll come back to the authentication in a bit so it will still be able to connect and uh, if i click on connect another instance will still be connected so this this time let me give it local host that is your local machine and if i uh, go for i mean windows authentication it doesn't require any password so if you click on connect it will be able to connect on the local host and another way to connect this is you know instead of writing local host dot just dot then it will still look into i mean this will understand sql server that the server is your local machine the user's local machine okay and it will still be able to connect okay so there are a few i mean ways to write the user uh, the server name on the, uh, the user machine now um local host i think most of you are familiar with those who come from a web development background local host is also used in asp.net in iis express or their internal server local host is a local machine you know um and it specifies that i want to connect to the local server now these names will tell the sql server that i want to connect to a local machine instance of the sql server management studio okay now one more thing i need to show you is that going back to the slide show if you go for this figure this figure shows that in a production centralized environment the database server may be residing on a different server physical server which is used as a sql server microsoft sql server which holds the which um, contains the database and there are several users or developers machines which are connected to the database server in that case the database server's ip address is the server name okay so let me get back to the sql server management studio um this version so i've already connected now the thing is a little about the two types of authentication that we come across so let me try to connect it again database engine now this is windows authentication now this windows authentication if you repeat windows authentication is the default and is often referred to as an integrated security because this sql server security model is tightly integrated with windows specific windows so win specific windows user and group accounts are trusted to log in to the sql server windows users who have already been authenticated to log in to windows don't have to present additional credentials okay like to be connected through um sql server authentication then you need to have a login and a password okay so the common login is sa with a password you can change and i have kept it as a uh, let me again delete this and let me write the password again and connect so this time i am connected with the login as sa the thing is how how does it you know appear over there now if you look back go back again so these two type of authentication although you have got a few more types of authentication but these two are the most common it has come back from a very earlier versions of sql server so we'll be talking about these two so while configuring or installing your sql server it i have actually opted for a mixed mode authentication wherein it allows me to connect to configure the sql server authentication as well as the windows authentication however there is a choice either mixed mode or sql server authentication mode if i have opted for sql server authentication mode then windows authentication won't be there so that is the mystery behind uh, having both the type of auth authentication now another thing is in the next lecture we'll see how the database um, what are these databases so if you click on database so there are a few system databases which are 
automatically generated when you um, connect it and these help in actually running the SQL Server and then you need to create a new database so that will be the topic of next lecture so in this lecture we have seen um, what is a SQL Server Management Studio it's a client tool to connect to the SQL Server and how you connect to the SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studios and how the Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication methods work with work to connect to the SQL Server. Okay. Thank you.